Hey, welcome to the channel everyone, where I post helpful and entertaining video weekly. Hey guys, if you haven't done so, feel free to uh, subscribe and at the same time press that notification bell so that way you guys can get notified for every video that I post weekly. Anyways guys, in today's episode we are going to work on uh, many things actually. I want to tag you guys along and uh, you know I'll be working on the golf art today. I'm also going to work on the new um, Acura MDX and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. In regards to the Acura MDX behind me guys, uh, I'll be doing the old change today as part of the B1 service and uh, the B1 service is mainly oil change and filter. Uh, it will be servicing the brakes uh, having getting the alignment done getting the wheel tires and balanced and rotate them and so yeah stay tuned for the next couple of videos of uh, of the Acura MDX where I'm going to be doing some of this uh, service so anyways guys feel free to check the video on the Acura MDX when we had purchased the car and uh, enjoy this episode and this vlog Well, here's what we need for the oil change, guys. As, as uh, we have our 0W20 oil, it's a synthetic oil with the castrol edge. As I'm a very big fan of uh, the uh, the oil, um, as well, I have the OEM Honda filter. It also fits the Acura, of course. It's pretty much the same car, uh, and the cross washer in the process. Uh, we got a 17 millimeter open wrench as well as our oil filter uh, plier here that we can use to, to get rid of that um, get rid of the old filter so anyways guys stay tuned
it's all done here, I'm just gonna fill the uh, oil up uh, with uh, 3.5 liters of oil and uh, the, the, um, the drain plug has been uh, basically put in place and torqued at uh, 27 foot pound and uh, yeah, so we'll fill this up. What's the scoop on the Golf R today? Anyways guys, I just recently did the oil change and uh, as the rule of thumb, I normally rotate the tires. So I figured I'll do the rotating the tires today to make sure that we have even wear uh, all around in the process. And uh, at the same time guys, while I have you here, um, there are some uh, updates going on with the car. As I mentioned long time back, uh, we have some body kits that I'll be trying out, a company uh, in the US basically wanted me to do a review and an install on this body kits and uh, not to spoil too much uh, that's gonna be coming your way pretty soon here and uh, yeah I'll see how that looks like if I do like it definitely I'll uh, keep it um, and uh, I'll give you guys my honest uh, review on those products so that way firsthand you guys can can make your decision from there so anyways guys that's gonna be what's going on uh, coming up uh, as well I'm waiting on again um, parts cost quite a bit and so I'm working on trying to get some suspension uh, configuration change as well possibly the sway bar and I'm, I'm hoping to get some RS3 sway bars and end links and at the same time uh, as well I'm still in the fence in terms of um, dropping the car uh, you know to be honest the car looks nice the way it is I like the car looking stock anyways so uh, yeah I got the VWR springs that uh, I would like to to use for this to lower it a little bit but you know we'll see how that goes
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're pretty much done with uh, the oil change on the uh, Acura MDX. And uh, the oil basically uh, is about, uh, well, the, the car takes about uh, 5.4 uh, quarts of oil. And uh, by the way, the, uh, the lug nut is actually uh, torqued at 33 foot pound. And so that's all done. Uh, the car is nicely leveled. I do level the car to make sure that you get the proper oil level. Um, and uh, also as well, the Golf R, we have completed the rotation, uh, rotating the tires around, and uh, you just have to torque the car up. And again, the wheels are torqued at uh, 88.5 foot pound, and uh, we'll drop the car down, torque it up, and we should be good to go. Uh, and the other thing too is that, uh, just making sure that, uh, you know, well, the other, things that, the other thing that I've done was while I have the car up uh, on those jack stands, I basically went underneath and checked underneath and see if there's any anything wrong uh, on the car so I get the chance to do that. And at the same time, I clean all the wheel wells uh, by hand, that is. Uh, the car is not super dirty, so I could pretty much just wipe everything. And at the same time, too, I went underneath the car um, and with the creeper and then basically uh wipe anything i can wipe underneath there and the car is super clean well folks thank you for spending the time with me uh, on this vlog basically we're pretty much done here uh by the way guys uh anybody from yyc calgary here uh july 24th will be the uh, driven car show and uh, don't miss that guys because it's been about two years since we actually had a car show uh going so yeah, I'll be on the Driven Car Show. I'll be doing some taping and uh, videotaping of, of some nice cars in the process, much like I've done in 2019. And uh, hopefully I can see a bunch of nice cars there in the process. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that episode. Um, definitely you won't be disappointed. And as usual guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so you could never miss any of my videos coming up. Peace out.